going on guys? It's your boy, Keanu Reeves of KazeBeat.com. I'm not in the studio right now. I'm at my girlfriend's Airbnb. We're doing an Airbnb intro. Let me know if I should keep on doing Airbnb intros. If you're new to the comment house, you already know the drill. Just hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Wait till you see them. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> This is my girlfriend's Airbnb that she's getting ready for the next guests. That's her right there. Today I'm going to be collabing with Ron Da Vinci. We've made a handful of beats together in the past and he's got a couple of melody loop kits that are out right now. They're called the Da Vinci Code Volume 1 and 2. I'm telling you, these loops will inspire you. I'm going to show you guys how to make a gunna type beat with some of these loops and of course adding a little bit of my own spice into the mix. Without further ado, let's get into it. I was planning on making a beat from scratch starting with the melody, but I got this loop sent from Ron Da Vinci. I promise the next one's gonna be a cook up from scratch. We got the BPM set to 114. My reference for this is that song that has Lil Baby and Drake. Uh, it's called Yes Indeed. The drum balance that you wanna aim for is to try to get that signature baby flow where he goes like, wah, wah, wah. Na, 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 na. Here's the loop. I kind of jumped the gun and I ended up cooking up this beat on TikTok Live. But I'll just show you the sounds that I'm using. I'm using a lot of sounds from the Cody drum kits, like including the 808. Honey, I shrunk the kids 808. The main hi-hat I'm using for the bounce is the top hi-hat from the Cody kit. I've got some other stuff from Capital DK3 perks. I've got a couple of secondary snares like this. Aggressor open hat. We're using a clap because Lil Baby beats. I'm just gonna pull up the hi-hats and show you guys what we have going on here. The first thing I did was I actually laid down the 808. So let me mute all this other stuff here and let you listen to it with the melody. The way that I look at this is I want to lead all my hi-hats and all my perks open hats to these points right here where the 808 comes in and hits. On the first, the third, if you have an eight bar loop, you go on the fifth beat, the seventh beat. So every odd number, I guess. Oh, it's cause I let him drums talk. I think the reason why that sounds good is because the listener's ear can expect that really simple pattern every time. So it makes you naturally want to look forward to it. And that's why you can kind of go crazy with your hi-hats and your open hats that kind of lead up to that familiar point where those 808s just knock. This is actually a neat trick that probably people do, but I just kind of thought of it on my own a while ago. So you take an open hat that sounds like this naturally, right? So the trick is to come down here double click, create a slide note, and slide the pitch of that open hat down. This is just a small little trick that can give you a little bit of uniqueness in your beats. Oh my. Another thing with the drums I want to point out is this very, very faint hi-hat that I added in. It's a very simple eighth note pattern. It's just loud enough to keep the artist or the listener on beat with the consistency. So the way it's looking, this part of the beat, this is a 16 bar verse. Now we're gonna add some sauce to the hook. I think I might leave drums out of the hook, but I do wanna add a synth bass. I don't wanna just have the same 808s blaring throughout the whole thing. So let's open up sub boom bass two. Only thing I don't like about this plugin is it takes 10 years to load up. There's a lot you can do with this plugin. It's pretty overwhelming if you're looking at it for the first time. So I'm just gonna go to a preset that I made before. The loop has a lot of frequencies. Let's do a filter. We want to make room for the bass, so we'll do a high pass. Cut that. So I'm just going to right click here. Make sure it's turned up all the way. And presets. Let's do a simple 
a simple high pass. So we don't want to cut off too much. And then all I have to do is just take this first block and then place it at the end here so I can turn the switch off. gonna adjust the channel panning the left one's going all the way to the left right one's going all the way to the right I'm gonna make the stereo separation like this I'm gonna highlight the right base hold down shift and then use my mouse wheel to just shift it over ever so slightly I'm thinking of adding some chimes just for ambient effect I want to add in some kind of a ARP, something ambient, shiny, bright sound. So we're gonna go into Omnisphere, see what kind of synths that we can find. We're gonna mess around with the Celeste Bells. I like that. So we're gonna go to ARP, turn it on. Ooh, that's kind of nice. It's nice. I want a delay. A radio delay, do great success. That's the right note. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I don't even know what chord this is. In case you guys didn't know, you can hit Control A and Alt S for Alt Strum. I don't want to overdo it. So there you have it guys. Here's a beat, it's very vibey, it's rich in melody, it's got a bunch of elements that make it unique. And most importantly, it gives room for a voice like Lil Baby to do its thing. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button until it turns blue and hit the sub button, become a part of the Kame house because I love you long time. If you have any suggestions, you can hit me up on IG at Kaze Beat, whether it's mixing, beat production, sound design, etc. If you got video ideas, you can even drop them in the comments. I promise I'll get back to you. Oh, it's Kaze, let him drums talk.